Right down the road at Dan R. Hook Stadium. You know, West Orange Stark and PNG used to be in the same district back in the day. The enrollments have gone the opposite directions, but it's great to see these two playing again. West Orange Stark undefeated. PNG looking like a different team after getting blown out by Port Arthur Memorial. How about Tommy Reed? Knocking some defenders down, getting himself a first down for PNG. Then Shea Adams comes in at quarterback, and he's going to do the rest. Beast mode there. Fired Seven up. nothing Indians over the undefeated state-ranked West Orange Stark Mustangs. Now more from the tribe. Cole Cribben to Reed Richard, and he's got himself a nice pickup there. Indians knocking on the door. Another quarterback change. They bring in Adams out of that Wildcat set, direct snap, and he's into the end zone once again. It's 14 to nothing at this point. Adams, a big boy, tough to take down. Second quarter, how about the Indian defense? Bringing it all night long. This is what Coach Joseph wants to bring to the reservation, and folks, we got ourselves an upset. Final from Dan Hook Stadium. PNG walks away with a 27 to wow. six win over West Orange Star. You talk about a sigh of relief if you're an Indians fan. That has got to feel good. It's just one of those things where it's a head scratcher. You know, they start off the season, and we discussed this off camera. You said Port Arthur Memorial is probably the worst team to start with because you can't prepare for it's that speed. It's tough to, yeah, prepare for the Titan Tempo in week one. Titan Tempo has been explosive. PNG shut out Beaumont United last week. Now they get another big win at West Orange Stark. Now standing by with all the reaction from this one is our very own Leticia Kehe. She was out there at Dan R. Hook Stadium outside of Beaumont for once. She yeah. got to go on the road. <laughs> and she's there with head coach Jeff Joseph of the PNG Indians, 2-1 in, one in season one. I am out here with, Jeff, with Coach Joseph. And let me just say, leaving Beaumont and coming out here, I would like to say that I think I'm you guys' good luck charm <laughs> because I'm usually their good luck charm in Beaumont. So how do you feel about that? Well, maybe we'll make you come to one of our games. Yeah. Good luck charm. Appreciate it. I mean, I would, I would be honored. But let's talk about you guys came in as the underdog, right? What did you think were going to need to be your keys to success in order for you to win tonight's game? Yeah, we knew we were going to have to be able to run the football against them, and we were going to have to be able to tackle in space. And uh, our guys our guys on defense did a, re a really good job of gang tackling, running to the football. We played with unbelievable effort, which covers up for a lot of the, uh, the mistakes that we made. And we, we played really hard, and that was the key to the game, is just the uh, effort we played with on both sides of the ball. Absolutely. You guys played lights out in defense. And talk about how basically you were able to goal line stand you were able to make them turn the ball over uh, and defense was something that was thought to be the final piece for you guys how do you feel moving forward and especially um, getting ready to play the Fort Ben Marshall team what are do you think adjustments you're going to have to make for that well we're going to play just another team with a lot of speed next week or excuse me two weeks from now after our open week um, and and people that can run really fast and are very dangerous in space with a lot of good athletes so uh, we know, we know what we're praying for, but uh, our defensive staff has done a really good job. Coach McDaniel and his guys put together a really good plan this week. Um, and our kids kids went out and executed it, and they, they, they played hard. And I can't say that enough, man. They, they played really hard, and they were able to make some big plays at some key moments. We uh, turned the ball over in the first play of the game and put them in a bad spot, and they had some adversity, and they really responded and, and rose to the occasion. And I, uh, I appreciate that about them, and, and we are growing, and we're improving, and we're getting tougher. Absolutely, Coach. Well, thank you so much for your time and congratulations on yeah, your win, you. which everybody is considering to be an upset. Oh, well, I'm just happy we found a way to win. That's a really good team we played against tonight, and they're going to win a lot of games the rest of the year. So thank you. Thank you so much. All right, go, Coach. Go ahead and yes, get with your team. Bye.